Hey guys, this is Indian PE and in this video, I'm going to share with you a detailed tech game breakdown I did as part of my speech in the Social Hackers Summit. If you haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm going to be posting a lot of dope content there. Hope you guys enjoy. So I was taking over his Tinder profile. This was like day two of our coaching and uh, he matched with this really cute, tiny, curly haired chick. And he was like, oh, fuck yeah. Make this work. I'm like, okay, yeah. Okay, I'll try my best. Okay. So I text her. You're changing a stereotype. So what was different about her? She had curly hair. So I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm gonna try to talk about the curly hair. So I did not say I, I like curly hair, you know? Not not subtle enough. Not subtle enough. Women operate on a very subtle level. Remember, okay. So I do. You're changing a stereotype, okay. Okay, what is this like? You know, it's like a curiosity thing. Like she's gonna be like, okay, what does that mean? I wanna know. I wanna know. Oh my god, it's, it's driving me crazy. I wanna know. And then uh, and then she asks us, which is, and I say curly short girls. I should have said curly haired short girls, but she got it. Curly short girls. I was never into them. Okay, so I'm, I'm telling that I have preferences. I have preferences, I have sexual preferences, I have preferences with women. I'm not just gonna sleep with any woman, okay? What changed, question mark? So I said, her name, I'm blurring it for, you know, privacy reasons. Her name changed it. And she just sent a smiley, okay? Uh, this is where a lot of guys fuck up. Just because she, uh, they got a smiley, they'll be like, Okay, maybe I can ask a very generic question. I'll be like, what do you do? Uh, what do you do for work? Where are you from? I mean, does that really matter? Does it matter where she's, uh, where she's from, what she does for work? She's gonna tell it to every guy she meets every day, every, anyway. So what is different with you, right? So I'm like, okay, well, she's sort of changing a stereotype. So maybe she's a trendsetter. I'm like, are you a trendsetter? And then she's like, hmm, I don't think anyone's asked me that before. I don't think so though, I, I just do me. Okay, so first thing she's saying, any, uh, no one's ever asked me that. Why, because like, guys are so fucking boring. They think they're, they're, they're operating at a, so much of a logical level, they're like, okay, I don't know, I should just say that I like you, and maybe I will have sex. That's what they're thinking, like, fuck off, no, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. So, something different, and she's like, I, um, I don't think anyone has that before. I don't think so though, I just do me, okay. so. And maybe I qualified a little too much. Uh, maybe I went, uh, maybe I gave her a little too much to live up to, okay? And then I say, everyone's too bu busy asking about your tattoos, question mark. Okay, this is a very famous line in Playing With Fire. We always ask, okay, give me the basics, tattoos, prison, uh, prison time and kids, okay? It's different, but you know, it's, it's a line everyone uses. So I was like, I was just playing on it. Maybe she's matched with other playing with fire customers and they use the same question. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm like, okay, everyone's too busy asking about your tattoos, question mark. And then she says, well, that would be a silly question. Um, so over here I wanted to like, like, you know what, okay, I had intention to ask that, but I'm gonna find a funny way to actually withdraw that question. I'm like, good, because I was never going to um, ask you that, okay? Why did, I read, why, did, why did I read it that way? Because of the whole punctuations. What is it like dot, 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 hesitation? Dot, 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 has hesitation, okay? So she, she's, gonna, she's gonna feel like, holy, okay, I'm reading this, but at surface level, it's like this, but on a tonality level, it's quite different. It's like, holy shit, this guy, this guy's actually giving me a picture. It's, he's giving me a picture to imagine, like I'm, I'm imagining the guy in the profile saying this in person. She's gonna be like, okay, wow, he's, oh, this, I like this, I like this, you know? And then she's like, oh, well, perfect, okay? Haha, -ha. because she, she understood it was a joke. And then sunrise or sunset, question mark. She, she initiates a good, uh, good question, not bad at all, right? I guess you, if anytime you want, you can use this actually on your matches, sunrise or sunset, it's not bad because sunrise or sunset both give pictures and women love, love pictures, you know? They want, they want that whole uh, emotion behind the picture. And I say sunrise, but I, need my, but I need my morning coffee with it. If I just would have said sunrise, it's like, okay, well, she's, uh, he gave the answer, but you know, 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a girl. I'm not going to carry the conversation. You're a man. It's your responsibility to do it. Okay. I don't have. I don't know how to how to carry on conversation because because you know girls don't have to do that. Hot girls never have to do that. It's up to the man to take responsibility of the conversation and uh, making her uh, making her have this like be comfortable about like him taking the lead. Okay. So I'm just taking the lead here. Okay. And then cream and sugar. It's a fun role play. Cream and sugar. She's 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 into it. Cream and sugar. Sex question mark. And then I go, I just say, I take it black, just like my favorite shirt. Let's say she was a black girl, I would have just been like, I take it black just like my women. Okay, she, was, she would have been like, okay, this is fun. Okay, I, just, I take it black just like my favorite shirt. I just wanted to see if she's gonna like jump on it, okay? Is she gonna jump on it? I wanted to see, like, uh, I'm just baiting her to ask anything about the shirts. Because, why? Because I'm talking about shirts, and uh, when do men, shirt, uh, men wear shirts? On a romantic date. So I'm trying to drive it towards that. I'm going to try to drive it towards, okay, I'm going to wear this shirt on our romantic date. That's usually how I bait girls into asking me when the romantic date is. Okay. And then I said, deep V, so you can see my glistening chest hair. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny, like, uh, I mean, it's, it's weird, but it's funny because she's like, deep V, hmm, I'm imagining him in deep V and maybe some chest hair to like go the whole 1970s look. <clears throat> And then he's like, and then she's like, ooh, glistening, my favorite kind of chest hair. <laughs> so she's doing role play. She's a cool girl. She's a funny girl. Uh, she gets humor. Uh, she's, she's throwing wit back. I, I actually call this something called subconscious qualifying because, uh, because I'm coming up with witty lines and the girl is trying to match my wit. She's, she's feeling a little pressure, but she's feeling that good pressure because she's like, wow, I don't usually have to do this because I don't find cool guys. I'm only doing this because I'm, I'm finding a cool guy who's coming up with witty texts. Texts which are probably like something he's not even like uh, typing from somewhere. He's not copying from somewhere. That's what he's doing, you know? As one should. That's what she says. And then uh, she, didn't, she didn't give me anything. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to play a little more on that. I just said, chest hair needs love too. So it's, it's almost like, uh, you know, like Black Lives Matter or... <laughs> Or you know whatever Pepsi Pepsi matters or something you know, uh, so I just play on it, and then she's like, "Good slogan. You should put on, uh, put that on your deep V." Okay. Another. She's doing role play. Perfect. Perfect. And then I said, "But that would take away the attention from the prize." So, so I'm just say, I'm just saying that uh, if I put that on my shirt, what's the real prize? Me, baby. My face, baby. My cute smile, baby. That's what I'm saying. And then she's like, or bring attention, extra attention to it. And then, uh, and then I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to keep doing, keep playing this. I was like, I sort of disqualified. Now we don't have to. Uh, now we don't want me looking like a drag queen. I'm too sexy already. Okay, I, I say, I say drag queen, but then I want to like soften it because you know who knows? Maybe she likes drag queens. Okay. So I was like, I'll sort of exaggerate it. And then I did. I'm too sexy already, right? And she's like, why are you 2,000 miles away? I, I was I was swiping I was texting, so <laughs> it showed up as two thousand miles away, and I and I and I said my location is fucked. I lived in you question mark, and then she's like I think my location is is not fucked. I live in this, so she lives very close by to him, and then I said I would love two thousand uh, two thousand miles. I would walk two thousand miles for some chest hair and love. <laughs> okay, what is that like? I'm still playing on the whole role play about the uh, chest hair. Um, so I'm saying that I would walk for this love she's giving, you know. She, like, she likes playing with the chest hair. I'm just playing on the whole role play. And then that I would, I would just want that love. And that I would like that from her, okay. And then uh, she's like, too bad there are only songs for 500 or 1,000 miles. Well, you know what? I will, I will, will walk a thousand more. <laughs> That's the one, right? And then, uh, and I say, what makes you think I cannot wrong song, write songs? I'm just saying that. I'm just playing, again, role play. I can write my own fucking songs. And then she's like, listening chest hair and a, sound, uh, uh, and a songwriter sounds too good to be true. She's sort of, she's actually qualifying you. Like, she's qualifying him. She's like rewarding his investment. That's crazy, right? Because the whole uh, the whole frame switched. 
It's not her chasing you. Uh, it's not you chasing her, her chasing you because she's qualifying you. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, let's see. Let's see if she bites on the whole romantic date thing. And I said, that's what we'll do on our romantic date. You can literally turn anything into a soft close. You can literally ask, okay, uh, what do you do for fun? And she'll be like, oh, I like to play guitar. I like to go to the clubs. Uh, I like to drink wine, etc. And then you can just be like, oh, that's what we'll do on a romantic date, you know? So that's, yeah. So in her message, she mentioned how far you live, so did that kind of was a cue for you to steer her towards the setting of a date, or you would have done it anyway? I would have done it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have done it no matter what. Like, I see I see a, a little bit of investment, and I need, I need just, uh, like, stacks of investment. I'm not just going to go by one big line, okay? See, uh, what is she doing? She's, she's playing into the role plays. She obviously understands that she, uh, that he has value. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if she has, if she sees real value that she's gonna jump on the romantic date, the bait. Okay. Hmm. Tell me more. She says. Hmm. Perfect. Right. And then I say, you, me, a bottle of wine. You can play with my chest hair while I sing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is this? I use the role plays before. I, I use the role plays before. Uh, I also talk about the singing. And she's like, okay, fuck yeah, this is, this is funny. This is so funny. She's like, mm, my ideal date. Again, role play. She's playing with it. And an original song, a song, no less, inspired by Tinder's stupidity. Okay. What is all this? You know, you know how long this, this took for me to text this? Ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay. This is five, right? This is ten. It took me ten minutes just to text this. She was... She was she was probably like, you know, just uh, just coming back from work or she's she's sitting, she's sipping a glass of wine. She's like, oh, you know what, I'll go on Tinder. And uh, we were having a conversation straight straight up. Like she was in, uh, she was replying in maybe maybe 10 to 20 seconds. Perfect. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to see if I can make use of it. Yeah? And then and then I'm like, I'll just come up with another new song that stashes away a piece of paper. It's like, oh, oh. Oh, I'll just, uh, like, I'm, I'm almost showing, like, okay, I have this song ready for you already, but uh, original song, okay, I will, I will come up with something new, okay, you know, like, as if, like, I'm being super shy, and then she's like, don't, don't expect me to sing along, okay, oh, I, okay, anyway, you see it, right, I'm a woman who knows what she wants, I see this as a, as her objection already, why, because she's like, okay, she's on Tinder, uh, we don't really ho uh, know her motivation, of course, this guy has great oral skills, but we don't really know that's her motivation or not. Okay, and then uh, she says, "I'm a woman. Uh, I'm a woman who knows what she wants." So I'm like, "Okay, I know what I want too." I see. Okay, maybe she's she's probably already giving an objection. And then I say, "I'll give you a hint," and she says, Let, "Let's hear it." And I said, "It may or may not involve grabbing your booty." I just like I just see. Okay, is she going to bite on this sexual comment? Is is she going to bite on this uh, sexual escalation? Through text, okay? And then she's like, I hear you have a weakness for a great ass. That was on his profile. So, so see, she, she saw that on her profile, on the profile, but she's never mentioned it before until I mentioned it. So it's your responsibility to drive it towards that, okay? And then she's like, okay, she wants to qualify. And I just say, I'm a man with simple taste. I'm not going to say, yeah, fuck yeah, I love, I love asses or whatever. I'm just going to say, I'm a man with simple taste. And she's like, you're in luck. She's qualifying. She th uh, she's saying that that she uh, she's mentioning that she has a nice booty, and I'm like, is that so? Question mark. I didn't say, okay, yes, you have a nice booty. I'm gonna meet you. You know what? I'm gonna have a drink with you. I'm gonna invite you over. Okay, okay. Anyway, she's like, supply equals demand. She's being funny. You may, however, have to take me on a couple of dates first. Okay. Well, I see this as an objection, as like a shit test. Okay. What's a high value guy gonna do if he has a lot of a uh, lot of a uh, lot of options? He's not going to be like, oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm going to do whatever she wants, you know? No. It's always like the girl just wants to, just wants to make sure that she's comfortable uh, being, being, in, being submissive to the guy who knows how to take the lead, okay? So I just say, damn, not sure if I, if I can wait a couple of days, never be that guy. What's a high value guy saying? Like, he, he's willing to walk away. I'm willing to walk away. And she's like, can't tell if I'm sensing sarcasm, okay? And I... And I just do this, okay. Just being honest, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. I expect to be with someone similar. 
So I'm like sort of sort of playing it like as of saying like, okay, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality, uh, but I'm also not desperate. That's what I'm showing. You know, I'm saying I'm willing to walk away from her if she's if she's like a like a little bit of a prude or something. Okay. And then she's like, I'm also very comfortable with my sexuality. Just not looking to be misled uh, like I have been in the past. Of course, guys have been assholes to her before, which is completely understandable. Uh, a lot of guys are like that. Um, anyway. And I just say, oh, I understand, I'm not into meaningless hookups anymore. And then she's like, well, good then. I think we're on the same page. Okay. So what is this? What did this happen? I've shown value. Uh, I've shown, I've shown uh, like, you know, I've shown like, okay, I'm, I'm a cool guy. I'm a funny guy. I'm not just going to be a boring, weird ass date. I'm not going to be this creepy weirdos you usually met online. I'm going to be a cool guy. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, well, she, she had an objection. I cleared it. So, okay, this is moving in the right direction. I just take her number. You know what happened? After he took the number, I mean, there's a lot of texting screenshots, but he did not need much help. It was just logistics. What is logistics? Just figuring out where they're going to meet, etc. You know what he did? He just said, okay, we're going to have wine on, on my romantic balcony. And she's like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And then he, he met her outside. Uh, he picked her up. He picked her up uh, uh, by Target or something. I guess she was, you know, I don't know, buying something. Uh, he picked her up by Target. He just got her home. Ten minutes later, he got her naked and they had sex. And uh, he asked her after sex, okay, why did you decide to meet me? And she said this. She's like, you were quite funny and uh, I felt really comfortable talking to you because you're very relatable. What does a woman want? She, uh, she wants a man she can relate to. She wants a man who, who understands what she, what she desires. She just wants to be understood. And that's what I showed. That's what I showed through texting that, yes, it's possible for such men to exist. I'm that kind of guy. I'm that kind of a guy. And she had zero, like, zero pressure. She just wanted to have sex. Have sex. Like, he gave her a booty massage. Booty massage is our most famous soft clothes. Uh, like, we, we bait girls into asking for a booty massage. We even included that in, a, in some, of our, uh, some of our profiles. You know, like, uh, if you have two of my three weaknesses, you uh, you are uh, entitled to a, to a massage, like as if it's like a massage parlor kind of wordplay.